Hey guys, we're going to do a little uh, rice cooking demonstration here. Um, Zantrans is a really good little rice mix. It has uh, has the spices and everything in there. Uh, easily do half a bag for a portion. Uh, because it has the spices in there, make sure to kind of break it up. There'll be like big bricks of spice so you kind of get equal amounts in there. And I was going to show you a couple tricks on there uh, while my stove's lighting up there. Um, Keep a little guy olive oil, and uh, probably won't be able to do this with one hand here. Just put a little bit of olive oil in there, and you see, just got a little bit of olive oil in there. Um, just kind of mixing around. I don't have any liquid in there yet. Uh, we're just going to kind of toast this rice a little bit. Uh, one little thing is, I am using because I'm stirring on this that uh, pot stand material. I just have sitting on top of my windscreen. Uh, so I can maintain the flame up there but uh, once you toss it around you get it toasted I'll show you a neat little it's nice and hot in there and you're just gonna put just about I would say to the first knuckle of water to cover your rice um, I'll give it a good little stir here I should get those spices off the bottom help dissolve some of that stuff and uh, Maybe just a touch more water. Not much. You got a little bit of fat in there for the olive oil. And uh, that's the trick to cooking rice. Is uh, put it in there. I just kind of measure up to the uh, first knuckle of my pinky finger. And uh, we're going to throw the lid on this. And uh, because I'm using one ounce, and I get about eight, nine minute boil time on this guy, or fire time for the uh, alcohol, that's a perfect time for the rice. Um, it comes out perfectly. You put the lid on it, you don't worry about it, you let it cook, you don't open it, you wait till it's completely out of fuel, and then even then you can let it sit there. Now the stainless steel doesn't uh, um, conduct heat as well, uh, so part of that is it actually holds some of the heat in there. Uh, there's a suggestion about using a pot cozy, really don't think you need to because it's not going to cool off as quick as an aluminum one would. Um, once we're done with the, our, uh, our rice mix here, um, we're going to put in some sunflower seeds and then uh, for like an entree, easy pack on the trail are these uh, dried little tunas on there and this is an albacore, this is a pre-flavored lemon and cracked pepper and uh, we're going to toss it in there so we'll see you in about 8 minutes. Alright, it's been out for a few minutes here. Um, I had a question about the handle and uh, not even like that's kind of warm right there. But uh, yeah, the handle's perfectly good. I'll take the lid off here, my little guy, and you'll see the steam pop up there. I won't have excess water. Turn my light on here. Shouldn't have any excess water. Nice, moist rice. Perfect. I don't know if you can tell. And we're going to add some of the uh, sunflower seeds and whatnot. And there you have it. I thought we'd go with a little albacore tuna. Uh, an honor and Jason coming back. Um, there it is. Uh, Zentran is pretty spicy. Um, these little guys I get from a food vendor because I work at a restaurant. But these tiny little Tabasco guys are great. They used to come in MREs. They don't anymore. Unless maybe the military version does. But there you have it. That is a hearty, hearty little meal for one guy. Or uh, two people and uh, I'll show you what it looks like in the squishy bowl uh, this will be a demo of what I would do to have a hot meal at the end of our challenge our August challenge for Pathfinder challenge. there you go it fills one of the large squishy bowls to the top um, one of the things I want to point out even with toasting it using a little, bit of little olive oil there's no burnt rice there's nothing you got to scrape out a little bit of extra water and you just toss this back in or you can scrape it out. But um, the olive oil, a little toasting is a uh, great technique to work. And that's what, what I would have at the end of my day hike. Or maybe half of that. <laughs> maybe good enough for two people it looks like for the uh, the challenge.